Hi, the Grains Research and Development Corporation exists for one purpose, to invest the levy we receive from growers along with the government contribution in innovation for the greatest benefit of Australian grain growers. If you grow any of these 25 levyable crops, you contribute to the $150 million we invest annually in research, development and extension. We get that growers don't find the details of how we manage the day-to-day -day activities of the research portfolio particularly interesting. You want to see our d &E investments are being applied to the things that will make your business more profitable. But it's incumbent upon us at GRDC to ensure that your investment contributes to a balanced portfolio to meet grower needs in the shorter and longer term. And to do that, we need feedback from the grain growers of Australia. Critical to success is making sure that we're investing in the things that are going to deliver the greatest value. And so I've sought to adjust GRDC structure and focus to align with the pillars of successful, profitable grain production. We call those our research themes and I'd like to share them with you. Profitable grain production begins with a need, not ours, but the world's grain consumers. Needs create markets with different characteristics. So our first theme is meeting market requirements. Producing grain that matches what our customers want. But we have a finite area to grow our grain, so we need to strive for varieties with the greatest production potential. So our second theme is improving crop yields. Of course, high yield potential is no guarantee of high yields. Success requires that we win the battle against those things which reduce, damage or compete with our crops. So our third theme is protecting your crop. We also need to make the growing medium, soil, water and air, as productive as possible in the short and long term, while minimising the potential impacts on and off farm. Leading to our fourth theme, improving your farm resource. In reality, achieving higher profitability comes from correctly navigating complex trade-offs and interactions in your farming system. So our fifth theme, profitable farming systems, recognises that no single aspect of crop production exists in isolation. With our final theme, we tackle our ability as an industry to grow our knowledge and adopt new practices to become more profitable. Building skills and capacity is about investing in change itself. There's an important reason for asking for your feedback at this time. We're developing our plan for the next five years. The five-year plan focuses our investment and provides the detail for us to be accountable to the people that fund us, growers and government. Out of the five-year plan flow annual operational plans, which specify how we're going to invest all of our funds in that year. We report to government and growers in our annual report, but because that's a hefty read, we also publish a more concise growers report sent to growers every year. It's because we're drawing up our next five-year plan and the first of those annual operational plans that we need your feedback now. Are our research themes right? And if so, what are the specific research priorities within those themes that you believe would deliver maximum value to you in your area, on your farm? But before you give us your feedback, I'd like you to hear a bit more about the research themes and what they involve from our theme coordinators. GRDC's theme, Growers Meeting Market Requirements, seeks higher returns for Australian cereals, pulses and oilseeds, simply because current and future customers are willing to pay more for them. It seems to us that there are three strands to achieving that outcome. Firstly, grower variety selection needs to result in Australia's grain better matching the quality needs of our domestic and international grain customers. Having access to the right varieties for your chosen market is essential. Varieties to chase higher value markets are even better. Varieties should consistently meet or exceed the quality specifications for the relevant market and behave how they should when processed. And you need usable information and tools to help you choose your varieties and market. GRDC will continue to help breeding programs understand the genetic traits that control important characteristics for quality. GRDC's priority here 
is to increase the speed with which our pre-breeding researchers can supply new genetic sources of quality to breeding programs and selection tools for more rapid breeding. Secondly, adoption of better crop production and storage practices on farm will cut losses from grain not meeting specifications. Rejection or downgrade is a major cost to growers. GRDC's investment will address crop nutrition and other agronomic practices to increase growers' compliance with receival standards and will invest in programs which contribute to higher overall standards of grain hygiene and on-farm storage to maintain grain quality. Thirdly, penetration into higher valued markets will increase the total value of our crop. We think GRDC needs to maintain a close watch on current and emerging market opportunities to direct our pre-breeding and other research areas. We'll be asking the questions, where are the markets for Australian grain likely to be in the future? What does this new market want? How much of it do they want? And does it warrant research investment to help supply a specific type of grain to them in say 10 years time? Our theme, Improving Crop Yield, is the first building block to high production per hectare on farm. It's about maximising the yield component of the genetic recipe of the grain varieties we grow. The genetic yield potential is a lot like a silo. It's the total capacity of a variety to produce grain yield under standardised circumstances. In the real world, of course, actual yield is reduced by weeds, diseases, pests, inadequate nutrition and environmental effects such as drought, frost and others. But improvements in yield potential and yield stability under these same conditions will still give more grain. We address crop protection, nutrition and managing soil moisture for high crop yields in their own themes. GRDC's investment under this theme will target research that helps breeders speed the rate of increase of genetic yield potential in the varieties they release and the stability of those varieties under different environmental effects. Our target over the next five years is to significantly increase the yield potential of commercially released cereal, pulse and oilseed varieties over current elite varieties through a combination of pre-breeding and breeding activities. The research investments we make will take careful strategic consideration of competing priorities. Will the greatest return come from breeding for improved flowering time, improved water use efficiency, frost tolerance, salt tolerance or in how the plant partitions resources to grain production? And because cereals, pulses and oilseeds have very different plant breeding histories, the answers will differ from species to species. Our program will also need to carefully consider meeting the needs of various climatic zones and seasonal conditions. The issue of yield stability will receive greater attention, recognising that stability of a potentially lower yielding variety can still be an important risk mitigation tool. We need to make it possible for producers to make sound variety selections on the basis of data about variety yield potential and stability you can trust with the tools to make those decisions on the basis of profitability, sustainability and risk management. Our theme, Protecting Your Crop, addresses the trio causing persistent crop losses common to all agriculture, weeds, pests and diseases. This theme is unapologetically defensive. Continuing the silo illustration, together weeds, pests and diseases cost Australian grain growers well over $3 billion every year for a combined tally of the crop losses and quality downgrades they cause. And this theme is about increasing our capacity to realise more of the genetic yield potential of varieties in the face of these causes of loss. The importance of this part of GOC's investment is underlined by the fact that the threat is always changing. Weeds, insects and pathogens develop resistance to control such as pesticides and overcome varietal resistance. Brand new ones can arrive on the wind or on a traveller's shoe. Regulations change with implications for on-farm control options and market access. And the cost of crop protection chemistry fluctuates in response to world events. GAEC sees its priorities as investing to mitigate the effect of these changes in circumstance and equipping growers with the tools for a balanced approach to sustain effective and efficient control. This theme seeks to answer the question, how are we to combine genetic, chemical and non-chemical cultural farm practices for effective control that limits crop losses and provides for stewardship for ongoing access to pesticides and genetic controls and delivers profit while addressing biosecurity concerns. This theme recognises that the causes of crop loss are diverse, so we have arranged our portfolio to consider individually the practice changes required to improve grower success against weeds, invertebrate and vertebrate pests, cereal rusts and other fungal diseases. Nematodes, viruses and bacteria also. 
Investment in accelerated supply of genetically resistant breeding lines is a feature of the proposed strategy for all diseases. New uses of existing chemistry, combined with increased Australian access to new generation chemistry, remains a priority for investment. There will also be a focus on good farm practice to limit the spread of diseases and weeds both regionally and across seasons. The theme Improving the Farm Resource Base addresses the productivity of our soil and the way we use water to provide growers with the returns they desire while minimising potential on-farm and off-farm impacts. This theme specifically addresses the elements of your resource base. Farmers can't change the climate, but better understanding and planning practices to adapt to climate variability are worth pursuing. This includes improved seasonal climate forecasting for better crop and variety choice and in-season fertiliser decision making. Medium to longer term climate change projections are also essential for longer term planning of the business mix. GRDC's portfolio will contain initiatives which aid better adaptation of the farm business to climate in both these timeframes. Soil fertility is a product of chemical, physical and biological characteristics, each very responsive to farm practice. Soil loss through erosion still remains one of the greatest risks of the grain farmer. GRDC will support research which pursues better soil management in a variety of ways, such as better use of crop rotations, controlled traffic and no-till farming and maintaining soil cover. After a decade or more of below average rainfall in many grain growing regions, managing soil moisture is at the top of producers' minds, not so salinity. However, as seasons shift towards a wetter trend, improved management of deep drainage below the crop's root zone becomes important once again. And as quality, fresh water for irrigation and other on-farm uses becomes a premium, the efficient capture and use of the water becomes increasingly important. Our focus on biodiversity recognises that farming takes place within a broader natural environment. We've cleared large areas of native vegetation to grow crops, how do we make best use of the remnants and where might we best plant native vegetation for the benefit of the crop, the landscape and our own lifestyles. Trees can be used as part of integrated pest management program to provide shelter and may provide opportunities to participate in emerging carbon markets. Consumers are becoming more interested in how the food they buy is produced. As an industry and as individual producers we need to show them that we are using chemicals and fertiliser wisely and are caring for the land. The GRDC's Profitable Farming System theme strives to help farmers capture the benefits from the other GRDC themes. Because it's in the context of the overall farm system that results have to be applied to generate the greatest benefit. So this theme is about helping farmers design a farm system with the flexibility to adapt and respond to changes, manage risks, integrate new practices and ultimately generate more profit. We've identified three strands to this theme. The first strand is knowing what's important. Here we focus on getting the system design right, increasing farmers' understanding and ability to evaluate the opportunities, risks and impacts from changing conditions in markets, weather, soil and government policy. We'll invest in projects which support growers in gaining an accurate view of their present situation, the priorities for change and the options available to them. We'll also support work which supports farmers in designing their farm system to capture the opportunities and manage risks, leading to sound, profitable businesses. The second strand is knowing how to respond strategically or optimising system benefits. Maximum profitability depends on putting together the optimum mix of crops, inputs, technologies and practices into well-planned rotations. Profitable rotation planning will be inherently flexible, allowing farmers to respond confidently to short-term opportunities and seasonal outlook data. Managing the risks and opportunities of the recent wet summers is a particular relevant example. The third and final strand is knowing how to respond tactically or optimising individual crop production. This area's focus is at the paddock level, in season. Here, we strive to help farmers to improve crop-specific best management practice and help farmers optimise whole farm profit by efficiently acquiring and using inputs. Every season has a range of outcomes that are possible and the decisions made throughout the year can send us on a trajectory towards a positive, neutral or negative outcome. 
The key within this theme is to generate the results that better inform these decisions to a more positive and profitable outcome. Our last theme, Building Skills and Capacity, is about our ability as an industry to undertake high value research which addresses growers' priorities and to deliver those research outcomes to growers in forms appropriate for them to embrace. While the other themes are about innovation itself, this theme acknowledges a need to invest in our industry's ability to innovate. Success in this theme will come from positive development in four component areas. Firstly, through the development of industry leadership. GRDC's own investment planning is built on grower representation, accurately identifying priority issues. Orderly and broadly representative grower engagement with GRDC and discussion among growers and with other bodies are prerequisites for sound leadership of our industry and good investment decisions. GRDC will invest to support a stronger contingent of growers willing to undertake leadership roles in their industry. Secondly, the capacity of our research sector is the engine for innovation. We will invest to support a pipeline of world-class researchers to meet the current and future needs of the Australian grains industry. Furthermore, we will exercise discretion in allocating our investments to support a balanced, healthy research infrastructure. Thirdly, the grains extension sector is the formal infrastructure for passing innovation to growers. GRDC will invest to improve the ability of advisors and farming system groups to undertake development and extension exercises so that growers are aware of the current research outcomes. Our investments will support initiatives to improve the availability and quality of information provided by the extension sector to growers. We will foster participatory approaches through training and capacity building of advisors and farming system groups about trial design, statistical analysis and extension methodologies. Finally, farmers themselves, as the link in the innovation chain closest to practices on the ground, require the skills to inquire, choose and adopt innovation to maximise their profitability. We will invest in training that supports producers in becoming more adept at information discovery, where to go, how to ask questions of that information, either through an advisor or in their own right. We will invest strategically along the entire chain of innovation through to the point of decision on farms.